In today's video, I'd like to take a look at 2024 theme coming to WordPress 6.4 on November 7th, 2024. Warning, this is just a preview. The theme is nowhere ready to be used as a production ready uh, theme for your WordPress website. So take it with your own caution there. Uh, and also things are still changing. Things are still moving and designing. And that's why I wanted to showcase it today because I wanted to give you an opportunity not only to see it, but to encourage you to go and contribute any way you can by testing, by commenting, by leaving them uh, and opening up an issue in GitHub, et cetera. So now's your chance, uh, no complaints about 2024 when it rolls out. For many years, I've heard you ask about why don't we have just a blank canvas theme for WordPress? We don't need these 2020 themes every single year. Um, and I don't think that's going to go away. I think there's like sort of an artistic flair design and just uh, announcement around new versions of WordPress. It's sort of like a milestone, I feel like at this point. Uh, for the WordPress team to include these new themed themes, if that makes sense. But I want to pull a paragraph from the announcement blog post. Here's what it says. The idea behind 2024 is to make a default theme that can be used on any type of site with any topic. Uh, topic being like any kind of use case, entrepreneur, business, shop, that kind of thing. Because of that, and contrary to past years, it has no single topic. Instead, three use cases were explored, one more tailored for entrepreneurs and small businesses, one tailored for photographers and artists, and one specifically tailored for writers and bloggers. So a few things I want to point out uh, in today's video is, one, I'm going to explore the Figma file. If you've not seen Figma before, it's like Adobe Photoshop. In fact, Adobe owns them <laughs> in your browser. And you can actually see the team designing frameworking and uh, really collaborating on the design of this theme. It's your chance to really get behind the scenes on how these themes are designed and developed. And you can read the comments, you can see where they're going. And then I encourage you to take that uh, and bring it to the GitHub repo. And if you have comments, if you have issues, test the theme out, but this is your chance uh, to, you know, no complaints. <laughs> you get a chance to see how this is made. We have plenty of time headed into November for you to uh, share your thoughts and really give the feedback that these designers and developers really need for a theme like this. Um, I think it's really interesting that they're focused on this more broad use case of a theme. I think it's about time they've really focused on that, but will they really get there with this theme? I'm not really sure. I still feel like the blocks and patterns are very opinionated. Uh, and for small businesses, that push into sort of uh, a finely designed and uh, you know beautiful broad brush strokes of a theme. Uh, I think that that's the missed opportunity. I think a lot of businesses just want here's our name, here's what we offer, and here's how people can either buy this or contact us, um, and are less you know desire to go and get this you know wonderfully crafted feeling. Again, all early days, just my opinion. Uh, but when you look at sort of the starter sites of, say, let's say a cadence theme or a generate uh, press and generate blocks theme, it's very different to the design language used here. But again, this is for the biggest audience, the biggest reach. This theme is going to hit all core uh, WordPress sites when it launches in November. Okay, let's dive into looking at that Figma file and then we'll test it out on a site. Okay, let's start with looking at the Figma file for the 2024 theme. If you've not used Figma before, like I said, it's Photoshop in the cloud, uh, owned by Adobe actually. Uh, you can navigate on the left-hand side. That'll bring you to the uh, places of the Figma file that are very important, like the templates and patterns uh, page here. I'm gonna zoom out and you can see that there's active collaboration going on. You can actually see other cursors going by. You can see people moving around, clicking stuff, and maybe even designing uh, right before your eyes. There's three major areas that they have laid out right now. That's entrepreneur and local business, writer and blogger, and then photographer and creative. And then under each column, um, they're designing out those individual templates, right? So you can see blog home, post, post with sidebar. Uh, and in this case, there is no post with sidebar for the entrepreneur and local business, not yet anyway. But if you come down to the writer and blogger section, uh, they have one uh, designed out here. And maybe they won't do that for the entrepreneur. Um, these are all just design mockups and really getting ready to start developing this uh, theme. It's actually already developed, but they're just enhancing it as they go. But this is your chance to zoom in 
quite literally, and see um, what they're thinking. So if we look at the index archive slash search page, um, this is what they're thinking for how your blog posts will show up on an archive or uh, a search result. And you can kind of play with that and see that. You can see what the search box is going to look like. Um, for the entrepreneur design theme, we can take a look at the home page for the entrepreneur. In fact, let's just do that for a moment. And we're going to zoom, uh, scroll up a little bit. So you can see this is the home page of what 2024 will look like once you have it all set up. Uh, text based call to action or hero section at the top of the call to action button below. Um, nice big broad image. And as always, like these things look great and beautiful in the design phase. Um, and then what we'll really see is the real world implementation. Will real business owners, entrepreneurs, small business owners pick up on a theme like this and design it, uh, design their own sites in the same uh, vein as what the WordPress uh, team has configured here. And we're just scrolling down, taking a look at this business theme and it ends with join 900 plus subscribers with a, with a call to action button, footer, et cetera. So if you want to see where the design is headed, you can see it here. We can go into the style section, and this is what uh, all of the styles of an individual page or post are going to look like. Your headings, your text, your galleries, your videos, lists, quotes. This is all the stuff that uh, when you're formatting a blog or post, this is going to be sort of the master template um, that when the development team goes in, they're looking and they're referencing the style sheet and they're saying, uh, boy, this is how we're going to style it with CSS, JavaScript, HTML, etc. And they're pulling this from the design team. So you can get a feel for that. Component section uh, are just like the real 50,000 foot view of the major components of this theme. Going to style variations, and I'll, this is where I'll leave my commentary for 2024 in terms of design. I think many of the past default themes have been very opinionated, uh, except for maybe Andrews Norn's flavor of, of the core theme, which I felt like went way, by way too fast. <laughs> you know, I mean, fantastic designer, fantastic theme. Um, but here's when I think what will, when the rubber really meets the road with this stuff is for a small business owner, I think these themes are so well designed on paper, literally in the Figma file. These things look beautiful. Photography always looks great, but that's because there's a designer putting this together, the right amount of text, everything's balanced, everything looks great. Small business owners, they just come in like a bull uh, in a china shop and they're just knocking things over and they're going through and putting in stuff all over the place. Uh, and hopefully, obviously the patterns and the blocks are going to align that for them. But I think once they see, for example, like the serif font base versus uh, a non serif or a sans serif font. This is when, like, they have to see those differences. So, what what will happen in a lot of cases is for the untrained WordPress user, they might look at this typography and say, "No, this is not. I don't like this, or I don't like this this image here," and not realize that it can be changed and that it can be formatted to a way um, that that they want to see, which might be more like this, which is just a different typeface, and it just feels a whole heck of a lot different. It feels more modern than more of like a classical and elegant design. And that's why I think when you compare a 2024 to let's say a stack of cadence starter themes, the starter themes will win 99% of the time because there's many of them, dozens, many dozens of starter themes. And the photography is for that business person. So you'll go to a Cadence starter theme and see a legal site, see a restaurant site, see a nonprofit site, and the text and the, the photography and the images match up to that use case. And then people immediately identify with that and then, and then select that. So WordPress is in a hard place for the default themes um, just because of the way we package it and the way we present it. And when you click install, you only have one chance to just present a website unless we build like an unless WordPress builds like an onboarding tool and a starter site selector, maybe in the future, um, that stuff will start to, uh, will come to fruition. But here's your chance. Dive into the Figma file. Take a look at it. Uh, let me know what you think. Okay. As we wrap up here, I just want to show you how to download 2024 and the few options you have. Uh, to test and play with this theme before it's ready for final release. You can go to the GitHub link uh, listed in the description below, click on the code button and download zip.
It's right here on my desktop already. That's the fastest and easiest way to get access to this theme. Uh, it won't update automatically for you. You'll still need to go and uh, refresh that update every time a new change comes. Unless you're like a code magician, you can sync up to different GitHub accounts. Um, but that's the fastest way to start playing with it today. Um, you can also go to the WordPress playground. If you don't want to mess with a WordPress website, like you don't want to create a staging site for your site, or you don't want to register a new domain at your web host to play with it, go to the playground uh, for WordPress, and you can actually get the install right in your browser without even having to use up your web host uh, or install a new domain or something like that. It's pretty cool. I noticed a few glitches, though, like some missing images and such and icons when I was in the editor. Uh, Playground, I think, is in its own beta uh, version right now anyway. Uh, or you could go to InstaWP, which is what I'm using here. InstaWP lets you install temporary sites so that you can play with WordPress uh, without having to mess with your own web host. So that's what I did here. I already installed the theme. Uh, there's nothing crazy about this theme right now. There's nothing that's going to wow you, no new features and such. So let's just click on Customize. Um, it's a standard full site editing and block theme right now. Uh, but you get to see it in in your browser and start to play with it. Um, there's a lot of templates that are already set up and shipping with this theme as of August the th August 30th, and I expect more templates and some more revisions to come uh, well before the November 7th release. So you can come in and start to play with the different styles, see what's available to you. There's a lot of templates here, uh, and if this is your first time playing with full site editing, this is uh, a chance for you to see how to set up navigation, see how to customize templates globally for your WordPress before this uh, gets released. For example, if we went to single posts, this would be what our blog post template would look like. I'm going to click on this. It's going to bring me into the editor. And you can actually start to modify these components of your template uh, that makes a sweeping change across the entire site. So if I were to click on author name uh, and just click on that little block, I can expand on the right-hand side, and right now it doesn't link to author archives, but I could enable that. And then when I save it, it's going to have that uh, reflection across all of the single posts when somebody's reading a blog post uh, that I make with the 2024 theme. If they click on author name, then it'll go to the archive of that author. So that's just a quick two seconds of global templates and you know what full site editing and where WordPress is heading. Um, almost like a no-code development tool uh, for WordPress. So lots of templates there. Check it out. You can see the patterns um, that uh, that they have set up now. Again, this is going to be changing a lot in the future. Right? I expect more. Uh, I expect more designs, more revisions coming. So if you want to play with 2024 uh, and start giving your feedback, I highly recommend starting to play with it in either the WordPress Playground, in InstaWP, or your own staging server uh, for your WordPress website. That's it for today's video. What do you think about 2024? Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Are you going to go and leave comments for the design and development teams over at WordPress? Let me know how you're going to handle that. If you like today's video, thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. If you want a great WordPress podcast and newsletter, happens every week. Go to the WPMinute.com. Com. Check out our newsletter. Check out our podcast. Follow us on uh, every podcast app that you listen to podcasts. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.